hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's great to see you guys again today in this tutorial you're going to learn that how we can change some uh, colors here so this is not going to be that this edit colors which we used to change color for our artwork here so we want to click on this color settings so we want to change some color settings here so the shortcut for that is shift plus control plus k and also we have assign profile so first we need to click on this color settings so i can show you all the settings that's available for this under edit menu so when you click on the color settings so this window is going to open here so under settings we have different type of uh, settings by default available which is North America general purpose 2 we have different if I want to select any of uh, these settings right here so along with that the uh, color management policies and also working spaces is going to change so here if I go with this North America web slash internet so as you can see the working spaces for RGB and CMYK is going to change. So these settings under color under color settings is uh, standards that I can just click on that. So it's not only effect on my document, it's going to affect on my whole app, which I'm going to show you later on, which I'm going to save a document and I'm going to re open it so here on the load i can load the settings here with the extension which is dot csf and also here we have save if you select anything for working spaces for the rgb for cmyk and you apply this color management policies and then you want to save the color settings here in this extension you have to click on the save and your setting or your color settings is going to save here with this extension which is .csf and if you want to load it in any other PC with a different working spaces with a different color management policies so you can just click on load so here I can set the working spaces for RGB for CMYK so RGB is used for the purpose of monitor and uh, CMYK is used for the purpose of printing so here under RGB we have different type of standards available like Apple RGB so if I select this one definitely if I am going to use any Apple monitor so this setting is going to fit for that but if I select this HDTV and, and any other so if I want to open this document with the color settings so I can get the message for working spaces so I can select any other working spaces under RGB like I can go with this Apple RGB I'm going to select that when you select anything under working spaces so the settings here is going to uh, select select it as a custom and also cmyk we have this us web we have different if you click at that so you can see we have different type of uh, cmyk under working spaces available like i can go with this us i can go so these settings are standard settings so i'm going to select this japan color 2000 one so under color management policies you should pay attention to this for rgb for cmyk you can set that preserve embedded profile you can convert to working space or for cmyk you can select this preserve numbers ignore linked profiles you can preserve embedded profiles or you can convert to working space so the best recommendation that I can do here for you guys is this convert to working space under policies and also make sure you check all the options which is available under here which is profile mismatches and missing profiles ask when opening check this option and also ask when pasting and also missing profile ask when opening when you put your cursor you can see 
you're going to get some info about this uh, um, policies color management policies right here if you click on the more option you're going to see the engine that I can go with Adobe engine or I can go with Microsoft so here under intent we have different options like we have this saturation relative absolute so you can use this option if you put your cursor right here you can get the info about this as well so you have all the conversion options right here you can check this use black point compensation and if you want to use that under conversion options so I'm not going to change anything for this conversion options so here I'm going to just click on OK so now what I'm going to do here is first let me make any artwork and I'm going to click on save us select the desktop and here I'm going to save that color settings dock so we're going to save that and click on OK so now I'm going to close this document so if you want to open this document in any other illustrator that you already installed with your PC with the different working spaces and color settings so you're going to get the message so I'm going to create a new document here control O to open the document so here I'm going to select this document and click on open so here as you can see embedded profile mismatch this document has an embedded color profile that does not match the current RGB working space. So this is how you're going to open any document with any other illustrator and you're going to get this message right here. And the embedded is Adobe RGB 1998 and the working is Apple RGB. So let me change the color setting here first under edit. So I'm going to change the color settings I'm going to change that to this HD and also CMYK to the US and we're going to turn all the options off and also for the profile mismatch and I'm going to hit OK so now I hold Control O to open this color settings right here so as you can see the the document embedded color profile does not match the current RGB working space the current RGB color management policy is discard profile that do not match the working space so now you see here you should turn on all the mismatch uh, all the mismatch profile all the policies which is available because it's going to give you the info or is going to give you the error that this document is not matched with the current color settings so this is how you can change the color settings here under edit menu when i'm going to click on ok so here i have my document but uh, you should turn on all the option under color settings here if you want to see all the message you want to see the working space you have to select this convert to working space the best option is here under color management policies is that you select this convert to working space for RGB and convert to working space for CMYK and make sure you check all these options which is available for profile mismatches and missing profiles and let me show you here the assigned profile I'm going to make this artwork you should take a look closely to this artwork and here let me show you how it's going to change when I want to select any profile here so I'm going to click on assign profile so here if you select this don't color manage this document so it's not going to color manage this document but if I select this working RGB and click on OK 
working RGB is already here so nothing is actually changed so I'm going to click on assign profile again under profile so we have different type of profile available so if I want to select this E-SRGB and click on OK so look what happened here did you notice here did you see all the colors is changed and also here under edit I'm going to just click on assign profile again so here I'm going to just go with something really different so we're going to select this SDTV NTS and click on OK so as you can see the color is now changed so here I wanted to show you with assign profile with color settings if you're using a different monitor a different uh, platform of uh, working spaces that's already available here so make sure you check some option that is necessary here for uh, your settings but if you go with something like if you select uh, this something like a different profile or different color settings so you can expect the different output right here with your illustrator so that's why you should select all the settings right here according to your working space uh, here in your illustrator so i can go with apple rgb if i click ok so apple rgb is also it's going to not change anything here but i can i'm going to select this working rgb for now and click on ok so i don't want to assign any profile i don't want to change the colors here so this is how you can change the color settings and uh, assign profile under edit menu with your illustrator. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned how to use all the color settings options and uh, assign profile under edit menu. And if you have any question or doubt please let me know in the comment box of this video. And if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want to stay tuned about our future videos and uploads so see you guys in the next video